time long past, the armies of the dark came again into the lands of men. Their leaders became known as the Fallen Lords, and their terrible sorcery was without equal in the West. In 30 years, they reduced the civilized nations to carrion and ash, until the free city of Madrigal alone defied them. An army gathered there, and a desperate battle was joined against the Fallen. Heroes were born in the fire and bloodshed of the wars which followed, and their names and deeds will never be forgotten.
Man, I'm, I'm tempted to not turn off this music uh, because the TFL soundtrack is, is awesome. And the YouTube clip I'm watching is, uh, you know, showing all the artwork and cutscenes, uh, which are amazing uh, for anyone who, who remembers. But we're already an hour late. Uh, we got to get the show on the road. Terry's been complaining uh, for hours and multiple different channels calling this production unprofessional. Uh, Zell is furious, though I don't know why he's furious. I mean, he stays awake all the time anyway. It's like he's going to bed. Uh, so I, I reject those complaints. But it's time. So we're going to talk about the Grim Classic today. Uh, so this is a tournament where we've got about 50 folks that signed up. And uh, teams specially curated uh, by Grimm himself, uh, who famously, uh, probably Myth's most famous tournament organizer at this point, uh, has been gone for about eight years, same as me, uh, offered to come back. Uh, Asmo did a, a really nice thing in, in seeding uh, control of his would-be draft tournament uh, to let us do uh, this. So without further ado, we are going to get into some team reviews. Uh, and by reviews, I mean reveals. All right. So what we're going to do this is we're going to go row by row here uh, and show teams. And I'm going to just provide stream of consciousness, uh, real time updates. Uh, so for team one, and Asmo made this thing, which apparently auto plays. So now it's going very fast. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, but we've got Team 1 with Shyster, uh, Team 2 with Genghis, uh, Team 3 with Adrenaline, Team 4 with Thierry. Uh, so ignoring the fact that we saw a sneak peek of uh, that second row, we'll just talk about this first row. So at first glance, uh, I think this is pretty standard. Uh, you know, some folks have said Adrenaline uh, had a really rough Myth World Cup. I think that's true, but I think he was also on a really disorganized team. And from a stats and ratios perspective, uh, he did just fine. Uh, I think he was picked second last year in a draft tournament, if I'm told correctly. So I'd say that's really the only questionable part. Uh, beyond that, I mean, Chester, Genghis, Thierry, uh, you know, no-brainers from a, a, a team perspective. Uh, ours going to Team Chester is, is, I think, scary for everybody. Uh, known as two of the smartest myth players. Uh, you know, that, that level of just game awareness uh, and just knowledge of the game on one team is, is obviously a, a big plus for them. Uh, East Wind joining Team Genghis. Um, so I think, you know, East Wind is a little bit of a question mark from an attendance perspective, uh, much like Clank. Uh, he also joins Adrenaline. Uh, and again, as my, I guess this thing just auto plays. Uh, we'll get used to it as we go, though I wish it would stop. <laughs> also joins uh, Adrenaline's team. Uh, so that's a reprisal of the, of the 3v3 team he was on. Uh, so two furious clickers, BC power uh, of team three is quite good. Uh, to finish up an East win, really strong player, great combo with Genghis. Obviously just teamed up to win the Myth World Cup. Um, so, you know, no weakness there. And then Terry picking up Limp. Uh, so Limp just finished captaining uh, himself to the fi his first Myth World Cup championship. Uh, so I think from a captain perspective, uh, would be a strong option. Uh, and then before he was captaining, was, was putting up really good ratios too. Uh, so, so far, uh, I think, yeah, my perspective, no real complaints, no real arguments. I think that if this had played in, in a draft format, uh, I don't think there's a, a big upset uh, anything that's happened so far. Uh, again, uh, <laughs> another really smart player uh, on the team one with Donsky. I think there are, are some questions from a tennis perspective just because Donsky was pretty reluctant to sign up. Uh, but that, that is a scary addition uh, for, for Team Scheisser. Uh, so again, very smart team so far. Uh, you get some BC power and also just a, a real high level of game understanding. The Islander joining Team Genghis. Uh, so, I mean, this is looking a little bit like the core of uh, Hot Sauce at this point. Uh, the Islander, I think everyone ranked very highly, uh, had re really impressive ratios, really impressive damage. Uh, throughout the Myth World Cup. Uh, so solid pickup there. Uh, Gecko uh, on a Team 3. Uh, I like this uh, quite a bit. I think, you know, he basically 
brings some some flexibility and just some some calm to the furious clicking uh, of Adrian and LSO. Uh, so really versatile player. I think he'll be able to fill in the gaps. Uh, I hope they let him captain. I, I absolutely love Gecko strategies. Um, so look forward to, to seeing more of that. Uh, and then you've got yours truly uh, on team number four. Uh, so, you know, right away, bad sign uh, with Tyrion and Karma on a team. Uh, I think that means this team's destined to make the finals uh, before losing in, in devastating fashion, as is tradition. Uh, but, you know, ranking these three, I think, uh, you know, most people would say team one and two, you know, from a Donsky calendar perspective. Uh, I think... I don't know, Gecko's probably in that group. I won't rate myself there, uh, but I, I think at this point, if I'm looking at teams that I would be most scared of, uh, yeah, I think Team 1 is still the, the, the most scary uh, so far. But, but again, we've got quite a ways to go. Uh, so we've got Kruniak as an addition. So he's a nice BC player. I think this gives somebody that they can stick on trial. Uh, apparently he's quite good on mixed squads as well. Uh, and then Kroon's been a really good tournament player you know, in the past eight years, uh, I've been told by quite a few folks that have stuck around and been playing uh, that he's been very solid. Uh, Hot Sus Reunion Tour continues. Uh, so we now have HMP, uh, super solid player, uh, able to fill into really any role. Uh, and again, four of the, the core players on a team that won Myth World Cup. These guys played every game in the finals. Um, so you, you, you've automatically got to be worried about them. Paris on team three. Um, so I really like this addition. Uh, you now have all of Adrenaline, Paris, and Elso on one team. Uh, Elso and Paris won the 2v2. Adrenaline, Elso, and Paris won the 3v3. Uh, so from a Rabble tournament perspective so far this year, uh, this team's done super well. Uh, so I think you know they're, they're likely to be very happy with this lineup. Uh, from a BC perspective, uh, again, as strong as any team uh, out here. And then Asmodee on Team 4. Uh, so I think having me and Asmo on the same team makes sense. Uh, I am not going to be here week one. I think Asmo's week missing weeks two and three. Uh, so we basically offset that absence. Uh, solid player here. I think he's a, could be a good captain uh, for this team. Uh, again, along with Lemp, uh, even Thierry, right? So we have a lot of choices from a captain perspective. Uh, and then offer some flexibility. You can really stick him on on, on any role, uh, similar to an HMP, uh, where he is quite quite flexible. All right, moving along here. Uh, so next pick we have Akira, uh, and again, I don't know what this tool is. Just every time I hit go, it wants to. I don't know, keep going. Uh, so uh, Akira was one of the original captains for the draft team. Uh, so I think. On this team, if ours uh, or Shyster doesn't want a captain, uh, could cap. Otherwise, solid player. Uh, could be a trial alternative to Kroon. I think Kroon's probably going to get them for, for most games. Uh, Rat King on team two. Uh, very solid player. Uh, known to be a captain. Uh, was one of the original draft captains. So I think, uh, again, he'd be able to put Team Hots in a pretty good position to win. Captain on uh, team three. Uh, so uh, we got a little bit. Uh, so three of the core of BA now on team three uh, with the Dren, uh, Captain, and Paris. Uh, and then Monty rounding out the top five uh, for Team Thierry. Uh, so just looking across teams again, going to give you a karma ranking. Uh, and then I'm going to put a message in the team's chat. I, I, I really want to have a poll uh, and let the community kind of vote on who we think the winners are. Uh at this point, again, when we looked at the top three, uh, to me, it looked like Team 1 was the scariest. Uh, when we just focus on the next two, uh, so picks four and five, uh, I would say it's, it's a really even split. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I would even rank, you know, Kroon versus Akira. You know, Kroon and Akira versus HMP Rat, Paris versus Captain, Aswa versus Monty. I think all three of those are, are comparable. Uh, and if you swapped one here or there, not going to be a major difference. That's a pretty exciting team so far. So we'll speed it up a bit. Uh, so Garrick uh, added to team one. We've got Blade added to team two. Uh, Shadow added to team three. So I, I'm actually quite excited about Shadow being on team three. 
uh, you know, he did beat Clank in the 1v1. From a clicking perspective, his clicking is really good. Uh, so, I mean, really, at this point, you, you th- you, we might as well name uh, Team 3, like Team BC, or, or Team Click Click. Uh, Professional Killer is a nice addition to Team 4. So, just getting a little bit worried uh, just from a, a BC perspective. Uh, you know, Lemp, Asmo, Monty, myself, not necessarily known in, in the same way as, as a very aggressive uh, BC player or, or click heavy player. At least from my perspective, uh, whereas PK, given the right units, uh, can be quite aggressive. I think he's one of those players where you get in the right spot and you wind him up and press go. Um, he can get that 1v1 uh, mindset uh, and, and do quite a bit of work. So, you know, interesting group here. We've got Argos, Zell, Clank, and Homer. Uh, I would say, you know, Zell uh, in a vacuum, uh, clearly the best pickup here. However, uh, you know, any given Sunday, as they say, uh, is a coin flip for whether or not Zell can show up. Uh, you know, because he's got, wow, obviously that is going to be, you know, a, a big uh, question mark for this team. If he shows up, that's going to really put team two in a solid spot. When he doesn't, obviously, then that's a wasted roster spot. Argos was very solid all year uh, for Hot Sauce. Uh, no huge mistakes. Uh, I think he's a, he's a good fill player here, and he'll do just fine on this team. Uh, Clank, uh, uh, if he if he's g- going to be okay teaming with uh, <laughs> Drin Shadow, uh, high ceiling player. I think he could if he's able to dedicate the time. I I think he can get back in the groove. Uh, obviously, much like EW, uh, you know, saving lives, being a doctor takes precedence. Uh, so he's a big question mark from an attendance perspective. Uh, and then Homer for Team Four, uh, you know, this gives Team Four automatically a content lock uh, on content MVPs. Uh, we've got Homer and and my, you know, yours truly on the same team. Uh, it, it's really not even close. So we're win- winning. Winning uh, what really matters, uh, and that's that's the story I'm going to stick to. All right, next round. Uh, we got Vaz, Spoon, uh, Khan, uh, which I think is misspelled, whatever. I'll blame Asmo. Uh, and Retless. So I've heard that Retless was probably the best player uh, or one of the best players on Seeker's team. Didn't see a, a ton of the games, uh, but you know, I think Seeker said he, he should be permanently granted his, his four baller status. Uh, but this was also really good back in the day. Uh, so excited to have him uh, on the team. Looking forward to see what he could do. I haven't seen Khan play in forever, uh, but this do- team does kind of seem like if it were an MWC team, it would be the type of team he would join. Uh, I think Spoon is a great pickup for Team 2. Um, uh, super solid again for us all year uh, in with World Cup. Uh, if Zell's not able to, to come, he's easily going to be able to slide up into Zell units. Uh, otherwise, I think as you've seen from a spider pack perspective, uh, you know one of the better players out there. Uh, we got Vaz. Vaz is, is I think, a super high variant. Uh, I mean, depending on the day, sometimes this guy has like a 600 MS ping. Uh, so I, I wouldn't uh, <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if he came out and, and surprised and, and played really well. Uh, also, wouldn't be surprised if uh, he had a 500 ping lagged and, and just did terrible. Uh, next round, uh, we got Killer King, Kron, uh, Gen X, and Zach. Uh, at this point, uh, I think we're kind of splitting hairs. Uh, I'm actually just going to speed up a bit and round out these teams so we can look at them as a whole. Um, some of these players I, I don't know that well, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm not going to comment. Uh, you know, biggest two folks I think stick out in this group, uh, you know, Kron, Flatline, and Seeker. So Kron used to be a very solid player. Uh, you know, Paris, I think, said he, he performed quite well. Uh, so, you know, there's an argument here to be made that Kron, you know, at his peak might end up right below Rat King uh, from a ranking perspective. Uh, and these are these are very loose. I wouldn't interpret them as, as rankings is what Grimm uh, told me. Uh, so it's just more uh, giving it the ability to compare across teams. Uh, Flatline, uh, obviously, he played pretty good on Team Free, free Agents. On some games, he played really bad on others. Uh, so if you don't give this guy fetch uh, or Archer's mid and he's able to get up at 4 in the morning 
Uh, I think he could be a solid role player for that team. Uh, and then we look at uh, Seeker. So uh, obviously, I think he did a really good job captaining. And when he filled for us against Team Hot Sauce, uh, didn't notice any any games where you would blame uh, any of the losses on on Seeker's play. Uh, and we even won a couple games as well. Uh, so clearly, he he can play uh, in games with anybody. Uh, I think uh, another solid captain choice. Uh, so Team Four has got a lot of options for captaining. Uh, I think the BC t- power on Team Three uh, is 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 quite high. Uh, again, uh, I don't think that they should have LSO captain. Uh, I think having Gecko captain would be really interesting. Uh, Probably wouldn't have Paris either, so that, that would be, I, I hope, to see that anyway. Uh, team 2, again, Hot Sauce replies, reprisal uh, with th- you know three really core players from Mystery Men and Blade, Zell, and Spoon. Uh, so again, six of their top seven players were in the Myth World Cup Finals. Uh, so I think, you know, inarguably uh, a very strong team. Uh, and then, you know, Team 1, uh, just looking at this, uh, looks to me to be... Probably the, the the favorite. I think that's from you know Karma's internal rankings. Uh, would definitely say that a, a core of Scheister Arzdonski is really good. Uh, again, I'm told Kruniak has been a dominant force in, in many of these uh, recent years, uh, so he's a nice addition. Uh, and then we've got uh, Akira Garrick Argos rounding it out. So we're gonna do two things uh, as we wrap this up. Actually, yeah, let's see. Uh, we, we might have a special guest. Let me see if I can. Uh... All right, can you hear me? Okay, we may have a special guest. Just just working on technical glitches live. Uh, that's, that's honestly uh, what we're doing. All right, just looking at the Twitch chat. Uh, Arj, are you are you able to hear me? Yep. Awesome. So we, we are live uh, with ours on the team I consider to be the most OP. Uh, ours, what, what's your hot take on these teams? Uh, well, actually, I went through the teams while you were like doing your analysis, and uh, <clears throat> surprisingly, actually, I ranked. Uh, team one, which is me, Shy, and all, and the other guys, uh, actually the least favorite to win this one. Oh, interesting! So you've you've got team one last. Yes, and uh, basically my reasoning was that uh, we don't really have a, a dedicated captain on the team unless Shyster wants to do it, unless someone like, for example, Aki. So are, are you really just doing this to remove yourself from any risk of being forced to captain? <laughs> uh, yeah, might be, might be. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I could come in and cap some games for sure. But I think it's usually better if one person does it. It works. It just works better. Yeah, I, I do think Akira was wanting the captain from a draft perspective. Uh, so that it may, very, may very well be that, that he ends up uh, sliding into that role. Yeah, actually, I think that would be the like the best call because I think I think we need Shyster like on important units. Yeah, make makes sense. So let's go in reverse order. Uh, so you've got Team One ranked yeah. fourth. Uh, who's next? Yes. Yes, then uh, next one is Team 3. And uh, the reason for that one is that, I mean, they have great PC power with the, like the top four guys. But then they also don't, I don't know who is going to captain them. Because, as you said, uh, Gecko might do it. But he's also quite unreliable to show. Then LSO could do it or Paris could do it. And I don't know if they run to this issue like if they have like too many players who are willing to do it or are okay to do it, and then they like end up with someone trying one game and, and so on. Yep, yeah, makes sense. 
Uh, all right. And also, uh, and also one point there is that I think they have a tough time to find like a solid seven, seventh or eighth guy. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I, I, I'm interested to see Shadow play in a tournament because I, I've really only ever uh, seen yeah. him play against Clank. Uh, yeah, Shadow played with GKG a lot. And uh, he's solid when you like put him in a like a certain spot and tell him like stay there or you have someone like to like guide him a little bit. He definitely has like the BC skills for it. Gotcha. So Gecko, uh, if you're out there, if you're listening, uh, or somebody can pass the message, uh, I think you showing up and captaining is is going to be key uh, for this team. Is what is what we're hearing. Yeah, if if Gecko captains them and shows up, I think they might might actually have it to like win win the whole thing. <clears throat> it's just like the raw BC power. Yeah, I mean that would be an interesting storyline uh, with Elso and Paris, uh, you know, winning and Adren actually winning multiple events on the same team. So I, I, I like this little wrinkle. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So if we want to move on, yep. then uh, uh, I think Team Two and Team Four are really, really close. Like I think they are the favorites here, and uh, my favorite for winning is Team Two. So and, uh, let's start with Team Four. Uh, I, yeah. I, you know, I think are you just overrating me and Terry to be nice? Is that what this is? <laughs> um, no, no, not really. <laughs> uh, it, it also depends if Limp is like feeling if he wants to captain another like run, or if he's like too tired to do it. I mean, sure, Asmo can also cap, and they should be fine with him also doing it. Yeah, I think I've heard that both Tyrion and Seeker have expressed interest in, in sharing some captain duties. So Yeah, yeah. Tyrion said that he wants to capsize like some of the maps at least. Yeah, but my my only experience have... with Tyrion as, as a captain is when we were losing a series and revolted and made him captain the last couple games. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, if, if it's different when we start with him captaining. Yeah, well, Thierry did use to cap a few, like, us, Teacock sort of team, like in the, let's say, 05, 06. Not in MWC, but some other tournaments. He was the primary captain for us. Gotcha. All right, well, that'll be and interesting. Then, and then Team 2. Yeah, so uh, I picked them the favorite based on the fact that I think they have the most solid seven or eight man roster they have a great bc players uh gk iswin tau <laughs> then they have like these smart team players hmp and blade and then i i assume rat king is going to captain them so he's also a really solid pick here yeah i would think so i don't really know who else on that team would captain i think yeah. it's got i think it's got to be him or HMP, yeah. I guess he probably could. Yeah, I mean, if they show up, if they show up with these like, like you have on the list, these top seven guys, for example, I think they have like the most well-rounded team here. So interesting, Z- Zell is throwing out uh, that you know he d- he captained Hoa, an underdog, to a, a top three finish in two thousand five. So maybe Zell will, uh, you know actually get permission to miss his games unlike the myth world cup finals uh, and show up in captain yeah actually that might be interesting to see how cell works as a captain like these days i don't i, I must under, uh, admit that i don't remember much of the their run other than they like had these upset wins but i don't remember watching the films so i don't know what, like how he did captain wise but i imagine he did Pretty good then. Yeah, I, I just remember a lot of yelling. I, it wasn't quite Rabican level, uh, but but there was some some withering criticisms uh, in the chat. <laughs> yeah, that's quite weird because in like in our team speak in mystery man, he barely says anything. Yep. Yeah, I think it, it just takes being captain to bring it out of him. Uh, so we have a question in the in the chat for you, ours. Uh, the people want to yeah. know. 
what you think about Graham splitting up Homer and Genghis? Do you think this is just a vendetta he's got that he did this on purpose? Yeah, for sure he did it on purpose. <laughs> uh, but I think it might be now, now is Homer's time to shine. He can really like show up and big time. Yeah, I mean, again, I think with Team Four, uh, you you really will only have either Asma or or myself in the first three weeks, not both. Uh, which means Monty, PK, and Homer uh, obviously are going to be expected to take uh, big roles. And then I'm I'm really looking forward to Retless. Like I said, I don't know if you saw him play much, but I, I've heard good things. Yeah, I I haven't played with him either, nor like, well, we did play against them, but I don't really remember like paying attention too much to how he played yeah fair enough but we didn't or really we, play that team did we play them at all i think we did and i think in the qr we did yeah 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 but that was so long ago i mean we don't uh, we don't remember that at all <laughs> yeah yeah cool uh well ours thanks for joining i think uh we're, we're going to document his predictions, my predictions, and then I'm going to open up a channel uh, for the community to, to make their own predictions. Uh, and, and also, you know, if you have any complaints, direct those at, at the Grim Rigger himself. Uh, definitely not at me. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Any, any parting comments? Nope. All right. Thanks for joining, man. Yeah, no problem. All right.